I said I wouldn't do this, but I'm reframing uh, this poster from Tokyo into this frame. And I'm recycling this frame. This frame was made by a woman named Nancy Mee when she was just starting out as a professional artist and her, she created her own day job. And this was one of the frames she made. And as I was taking it apart, it was like an archeological dig because it was, I was going down through layers of work that she put into crafting this frame uh, with an idea to you know, make it permanent. And uh, I just had to share it after all. I wasn't gonna record this. Editing these videos takes me a long time. I hope you appreciate that. I appreciate your watching. Now, if the name Nancy Mee sounds familiar, it's because she's become a well-known artist in the Pacific Northwest and uh, quite a few places around the world. Uh, but getting back to my artwork, uh, I'm now unattaching it. Nancy attached this back in, uh, I don't know what year. I have to look that up. And while I'm on that subject, um, this artwork is in our artist script catalog as number 2236 on page 318. And there I can uh, go to the database and look up how much information I, I put in in our um, database. And there I can go back and add more now that I have it out of the frame from behind plexiglass. And I remember now that this is not just a single sheet of paper, it's actually two layers of paper with each one of these sections is cut out with a razor. Oh, 1982. And inset, I was inspired by the, um, I don't know what they were called, Henri Matisse, I think it was, did these cutouts and um, this was inspired by Matisse cutouts and the artwork itself, which was called The Jagged Door. Long story and maybe interesting to the owner of this artwork. Almost done. There, I've replaced all of Nancy's nails. Oh, heavy as lead. That's gonna look great in our window at the mini art gallery. And all along the bottom here, I have uh, tags, near field communications tags. And this one connects to the website where uh, we have it now in our own collection. And over here is a tag that connects to the um, exhibition catalog of uh, the artist, the graphic designer who did this. And these, these are blank, they're unwritten, and they can be used if the owner, the new owner, wishes to, they can add their uh, web page or whatever information they want to. Uh, in the same way that in the old days, uh, owners of artworks, uh, in at least the Japanese tradition, would stamp their family, uh, their, um, family seal uh, to show that they had owned it too, so that they established a provenance for the artwork. And so the new uh, way of establishing provenance on blockchain is to have these near focus, uh, near field communications tags, which may be converted to non-fungible tokens, but these are fungible tokens, they can be changed. Well, thanks for watching, I'm Bill Ritchie. As a postscript, I thought it would be a good idea to uh, demonstrate how the near field communication thing works. I put my wife's phone on here and uh, read the thing and it asks me, do I want to use Chrome? And I say, yes, I do want to use Chrome. And it brings up the web page just like that. It shows that the print the poster belongs to my wife right now. And on the other end of the 
artwork on this NFC is the uh, essay um, from the uh, exhibition catalog here. And here's the, there's the complete exhibition catalog, which of course one can read. Anyway, that's it. Thanks for watching.